Hood with it in the hood with it. Welcome back to the Collective Clips where you already know we get it in. But before we get it in, let's hit that like and subscribe button. Ding! Put your notification bell on all so that way you're directed in the direction of the dope content I'm kicking. And I highly appreciate all the support, man. We're going up on this channel and it's all because of you. And for that, I'm greatly appreciated. But even more so than that, I'm humbled, man. Thank you guys so much. So trip out. Compton. 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 Uh. Hey, I had to take my primo super norteño and mugre Sheila to Compton with me, right? And believe me, I didn't want to take him with me. So welcome to Super Norteño Man Part. What are we on? 9, 10, 11. Welcome to Super Norteño Part 11, man. Me and my primo take a road trip to Compton. And then about to get speed up in Compton. Shout out to the Southsiders in Compton. They they did that, right? So trip out, allegedly. We, uh, we get an invite. My tia gets an invite. She calls me over to her pad. She's like, hey, mijo, come to the pad. And she's acting real nice. And so I already know she's up to no good. See, one thing about my tia is when she's acting nice, she needs something or wants something. Mijo, I cook. You want to come to the house? That's AKA, motherfucker, I need half for rent money. Hey, mijo, can you give me a ride over here? That's AK. Let me use your fucking car all night. And me and a pice are going to go bone in the back seat, right? That's just how my tia gets down. So I always got to be prepared for whatever is going to happen or what she's got coming. What's some new scheme or new plan? And of course, because it's my tia and in the Mexican tradition, we can't deny our elders nada, right? I mean, don't even get it twisted. There is sometimes she's like, mijo, I need a shot of heroin. Give me 20. Fuck you, right? But in, but that's every so often. Most of the time, I'll be like, here, break bread like Jesus said. Put it behind my back. So anyway, she calls me over. She's like, come to the pad. I've cooked. I need to get at you. So I already know. Damn. I'm not even going to take my wallet because if I take my wallet, see, the way my wallet's going to work is she's going to empty it. I'm not going out like that, right? So I pull up, my primo's in the fucking, in his room, uh, getting his fucking bur burgundy fucking light on, right? Chilling with fucking fat ass. And I could smell, of course, that faint salty smell. So they're in there doing some <laughs> big things, right? And, or he's a small thing doing something to a big thing. Whatever the case may be, they're in there having it their way like the Burger King or the Burger Queen at this point. So my tia's like, sit down, mijo, I put even, look at, watch out, I put a new blanket down. I said, rapi, I put a blanket down so you can sit down so the roaches don't get on your legs when you're eating. You want a burrito, a taco, whatever you want. I said, what do you want, tia? What says I want anything? Because when you don't say what says, unless you say what says. Okay, I do want something. Your tia invited me, which is her sister, my dad's other sister. Your tia invited me to go to her birthday party and I can't go, but my I want to send my son with a birthday gift. I said, just fucking send that shit through the mail. This is way back in the day. So this ain't fucking uh, uh, Amazon Prime and eBay and all that. This is just go mail it at your post office. Ship that shit out. Well, God, send it. Well, got mail, right? She goes, I am fucking stupid ass trying to send it. Well, listen, fuck face. No fucking burrito for you. I'm trying to send that well, got mail, right? Of course, there's a paisa. <laughs> well, God. It's like, hey, Caesar, job it. Viva Caesar. Shut the fuck up. Look, I said, I'm not trying to go to Compton. Her sister lives in Compton. I got a tia that lives in Wilmas. I've told you about my primos from Wilmas. And a tia that lives in Compton with three sons that live in Compton. I'm not going to tell you what water they're from because I don't want them to get like Yadi. Hey, what happened to... Hey, guess what happened to the homie? They were related to that D.O. Gunners Collective. So we stomped their fucking brains in. <laughs> no, I don't want that. So anyways, I'm like, you know what? A little road trip to Compton seems I. Right. Now, you got to understand, at that point, I wasn't into the gangs. I ain't gang banging. So Compton, to me... It's just Compton to me, right? They live right off of a street. I don't know if you guys know the street's called Alandra or Alhandra, Alandra Street, something like that. I know there's a gang of sangres around there, gang of bloods, right? But they have a little nice little pad. It's whatever, right? Every time I go over there and I've been over there several times, it's all love because I hide out in the backyard. See, the way that my gang banging worked back then was I was a backyard banger. I'm in the backyard gang banging with my primos telling war stories when I go to the front yard. I took the bunny in. Hey, I just keep it real. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I know Northerners be going down to LA and representing us. That's get I was not because I knew better. And especially in the city of Compton, I didn't want to get a, a brother with an attitude on my head. So anyways, my dad's like, hey, mijo, I bought her a blender. Take, you're sending me all the way there to uh, fucking take a blender? No, you don't understand. She's always wanted this blender, mijo, because it got this it's a, an extra speed. And when she makes her chile, you know, your tia likes to cook. Now, my tia is a good person. C circumstances and baby fathers ended up or ended her up in Compton, right? I have nothing bad to say because my primos will beat me up when I go back down there, right? So 
Um, I got love for their mother, a lot of respect. And she really wanted this fucking gift. So I'm like, fuck it. I'm going to do it, right? I'm going to smash out there. She's like, take fucking fuckface with you and fucking Reggie White. I'm like, oh, no, man. Tia. She was like, mijo, don't worry about it. I'll give you gas money. Ding. My alarm went off. Gas money? It's like, this bison must have bread, huh? She was like, here's $20, puta. Make it work. Fucking $20 ain't even going to give me from here to Winton. Trip out. So I said, all right, look, I'm going to go to the pad. I'm going to let my baby mom know, see if she wants to go get some clothes ready. Because this ain't no fucking average trip from Merced to Compton is going to take about six hours. And then, you know, I got to figure out if we're going to stay at my tia's, if we got to rent a hotel. I mean, there's a lot that goes into it. This fucking $20 ain't going to work for all that. And I already know my primo hasn't hit yet because it ain't close to the first. So Social Security hasn't decided to tap in. And I already know that bitch ain't got nothing. I spent my last 20 on diapers. Damn, your dick big, right? She be staring. So anyways, I'm like, fuck it. At least, if anything, man, we always can fucking uh, 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 put her on the stroll out there in fucking Fresno somewhere. There's going to be a gang of bulldogs that want to take a bite out of that ass cheek, right? So fuck it, let's go. So I tell my primo, I knock on his door. Dun, dun, dun. Hey, wait up, primo. Wait up. He turns his fucking big tone down and he comes to the door. Wop in, right? Looking like fucking, uh, what's his name? The dude from fucking uh, uh, Blood In, Blood Out. Popeye. Orale, micro. Whopping primo, right? I'm like, dick just swinging. It's just barely swinging, but it's swinging, right? Whopping, right? Fucking, uh, 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 fucking, uh, St Sherry Stacker grip, right? Sheila, she's over there fucking with her leg wide open, and I can nearly see a green mist or, for northern purposes, a red mist coming out of her pussy. I'm like, damn, primo. So I'm looking here, but talking to him, I'm like, damn, I, I can understand why you're, that shit is, that shit looks all right. I never knew, right? So my primo's like, what happened? I said, hey, you gonna go to Compton with me? He said, oh, no, I ain't going to Compton. All of a sudden, his hands went from here, holding his shoulder out like that, to like here. No, I didn't see the way I work, man. I don't go to Compton. Anymore. You're going to Compton, you son of a bitch. That's right, boy. You said it, son of a bitch. I mean, you fuck you. You're going, right? You're going or or else, right? And or else to my family, I mean, she's probably going to try to kill you. So he's like, fuck it. I'm going to go and get my pants on, right? Nah, that ain't the way it works. You take a shower. You pack some clothes in your red bottle duffel bag right? Or your fucking backpack, your fake Gucci backpack. And then you tell your fat old lady to go to her mom's. So me and you can get a whole bunch of tortas on the way. We're going to hit Madera, Fresno, everywhere. Right? So I got a game plan, right? He's like, oh no, I got to take her with me. I have to take my lady with me. Now he acts like he has his hands in his pocket, but they're right here on the sides and he's pacing. No, you don't understand. And notice, <clears throat> I'm not hiding. I'm saying this shit right in front of his old lady. So she's like, why can't I go? I said, because you eat too much, bitch. I have $20 to my name that fucking my tia gave me, man, and we need to make it work. I asked my mom if we could borrow some money. <clears throat> now we're talking, right? So I said, okay, well, fuck it then. If she can borrow some money, man, she can fit in where she gets in. So, of course, we stopped by her mom's pet. Well, let me rewind a little bit, right? I go to my house, tell my baby's mom I'm going on a road trip to Compton. She's like, no, because see, the way my Compton game works is too many people... Um, from Compton, I have problems with. I'm like, you don't even know anyone from Compton. She starts looking through her phone, and there's an X. It says CV70. I said, oh, shit. Bobby from 70s was getting that before, right? The wind must have been blowing back then, too. Anyways, it was still I, right. not game tight, but I, right, right? So anyways, whatever. Well, I'm going to Compton because I'm on a mission. So anyways, bam, I go pick up my primo. They pack their shit. We stop at fucking uh, Sheila's mom's house, and of course, she loans her 100 bucks. And I have a few hundred on me. I ain't going to lie, right? That's some bread. You ain't going to go to fucking Compton with no money because I need an escape plan. Because, see, the way the Surrenuism works down there is there's a lot of them, right? And the way the Northenuism works with me is I'm not one at this point. But my primo is, and of course, that Vato wants to have a red bunny on his head so that the fucking flaps in the back and his Mongolian are blowing in the wind. That fool's reading out, hey, I'm going to start a Compton. I'm like, oh, shit. East Bowl, man. Bro, I'm like, oh, wow. We're going to get killed. So I call my primos, the ones in Compton, and they're super, I'm not super sad with South Side, but you know, they, they're with the business. You know what I'm saying? I want to tell you right now, let the gun play. They did Tommy High Max with Tori Lanes, right? They were in South Super Max too. So I get at them. I'm like, hey, primos, hey, we're going down there, fool. What's up? They're like, hey, we'll get some beast throws, some bitches and shit. I'm like, yeah, but I'm bringing fucking fuckface over. They're like, no. Bro, every time he comes, bro, he's on that high power shit. That fool walks around like this. I said, I know, but. You know what I'm saying? It's his mom and she made me and they're like, fuck. All right, bro, fuck. We ain't gonna we ain't gonna tell none of our homeboys to come through because we already know that fool's gonna fucking get beat up. I said, all right, cool. Now, don't get it twisted and think my cousin just takes L wops all the time. 
He doesn't take life without. He doesn't take L's too much. That motherfucker does have some type of hands, right? But at the same time, um, you know, you beat up one bean, especially in their backyard, you got to fight the whole burrito, and he ain't trying to fight Carna Asada. So I'm like, hey, primo, just don't don't, don't, don't invite too many people. He's like, no, nah, no, nah, just some chicks and a few, few homies that are cool. They, they ain't tripping like that. They're not affiliated the residents and shit. I'm like, all right, cool. However the Southsiders get down, you guys get down. We're just sliding through. So, of course, after hitting almost every fucking Burger King from Fresno County to Tulare County to Kings County to Kern County, we finally hit the grapevine, right? And I hope, and I just hope fucking Sheila is full. And she's back there sleeping. Right, so she's dreaming. She's having wonderful, fantastic dreams. And my primo's starting to get nervous. I can tell he's getting real apprehensive. I can hear him on the outside of my car as the wind's blowing and the red is fucking just going. I can hear his fingers tapping. I'm like, what's up? He was like, man, last time I went to Compton, I got jumped by a gang of our primo's homeboys, right? I said, they didn't back you up. He said, no, they're the ones that have been jumped in. So let's get pulled over to the rest stop so I can think about it, right? I'm like, all right. We pull into the rest stop. My primo's like, I don't know if me and fucking Sheila should go because she has a big fucking mouth. So I'm scared. I could blend in. You can blend in. That motherfucker was wearing more red than I'm wearing right now. How the fuck you going to blend in, right? So I was scared. I ain't going to lie. I was blacked out the game. Raiders, because I know Compton is synonymous with the Raiders. Fucking easy did it. I can get by, right? So I'm like, let's go. So anyways, bam. My cousin's in the car like, hey, primo, you got my back? I said, of course I got your back, stupid ass. Don't even trip. And because I ain't got your back, my primos are going to have my back. And we're all going to back each other's play, right? It's going to be us against Compton, right? That doesn't sound fair. I know. For them, it isn't, right? In my mind, I'm thinking, we're going to get fucked up. These vatos are going to hit us fucking one blah, 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 blah. They're going to be on their game shit. We're in trouble, right? So anyways, we pull up to my tias. It's already late night by the time we pull up. Because, see, the way that our fucking uh, coordinating works is we're stupid. <laughs> we just... Instead of leaving at the night, cruising through the day, getting there fucking mid-afternoon, everything's good, drink a pistol, nah, we fucking leave first thing in the morning thinking we're going to get there in perfect timing. We get there at night, my fucking friend answers the door, hey, a Charlie Brown and boxers on. Creased up, Charlie Brown and boxers. I guess that's just how the Southsiders do it in Compton, right? They have to be, hey, fitted and committed from the top up. He answers the door, he's like, these motherfuckers right here, hey, what's up, fools, right? That's right. Hey, tell your fat chick she can get off, bro, but hey, the kitchen's closed already, right? I'm like, all right, so she gets off, and she's just like, where, hey, she's holding her titties like she's trying to hide them, because her nipples are this big poking out, and I ain't even gonna lie, my primo, the south side, he's looking, he's like, tell her to put those fucking nipples there, they are pretty big, though, tell her to put them away, yes, right? And my primo's already fucking, I can see the steam coming out of his ears, the red, red steam, <sighs> they want to come out, lady, yes, right? I'm like, calm down, fool, for your, your primo beat you up. Right, so I'm like, what's up, man? Where are we gonna sleep? He's like, I don't know, fool, make a bed on the floor, and and I don't know, fucking fat bitch, bro. You know, if she rolls over on you, that's, a, that's your pancake. So we all figure out a place to sleep. My tia wakes up early in the morning. She's cooking breakfast. She let make sure that she's right there next to the comal. Allegedly to flip tortillas, but for every tortilla she flips, one for you, two for me, one for you, two for me. She's getting her real shit on, right? Hey, by the time we get served our plate, there's bites taken out of everything. So my primo from uh, from the south side, he's looking like. Damn, bitch, you even took a bite of my frijoles? So we eat, and they're going to have like a little bit of a birthday gathering for my tia. So I give my tia her blender. Hey, here. You know what I'm saying? Here's from fucking your sister. She, she's like, oh, I, I didn't even know I was going to have this coming, mijo. You don't even This is the one with the fit speed. This is the next generation. She's all happy, right? She got a fucking blender. Drove in all the way from Northern California to Southern California when she could have just easily went to Kmart and got her her own on the blue light special. But fuck it, right? This was the red light express, the red light special. So she's all happy. It's good to see you, Mio. I, I hug my tia. And she was like, it's good. To oh, shit. You brought this fuck face, right? <laughs> Even my tia over there knows what time it is. And she was like, don't start problems at my house, pendejo. Last time you came to my house, so I was gay. You got, you fucking caused chaos. Needless to say, the last time that he went, I didn't go with him, right? He stood, he stood up there with my tia and they jumped on him a little bit. You know, he was all right. So I was gay. At least he didn't come out like he did in Fresno with half an earlobe. So anyways, the motherfucker's doing it. He's like, no, no, tia. Don't trip, I'm good. So this motherfucker went and threw on a red Charlie Brown. Let me let me tell you the makeup and the DNA of what's happening in this story. So now we have my primos, right? My three primos, one of them's a little bit younger. He's like 16, 17 at the time. They're older now, right? One's like in his 30s and one's been in the pinta. He's high power. When I say high power, he's, he's been around, right? So he's like, hey, primo, I'm going to get a hero. Hey, Rocha's this way, right? His fucking lentils are this way. Hey, can I get a hero? Hey? I was like, yeah, what's up? Hey, uh, let's go to the garage so we can talk about it, eh? You know what I mean? 
He says, Get it. Hey, turn down that fucking DJ quick. We don't bump the vatas in our fucking pad. I said, right? I'm like, oh, fuck. This fool might fucking just stab me. You know what I'm saying? I said, but man, my politics are not his politics. The way his politics work. And the politics don't stop, right? So you sit down and take a seat, take a seat. Um, uh, yeah, see, the last time you read our primo down, uh, that vato got me in trouble with the audio. So the way it's going to work is uh, that vato right there is not allowed to drink pisto in the presence of real Southside shit. You feel me? I'm like, nah, nah, I feel you. I was like, don't trip. I got him. I got him. Hey, you know what you're signing up for, right? If you got him, you get him. If you get him, you got him. If not, we got you. We're going to get you. I said, no, I understand. I don't want no problems, right? We're just here to chill, fool. Kick back. Keep back. Don't, don't, don't touch me. And then the last time a northerner put his hand on me, just get me to put his shirt on. Now, let's go, right? So he's walking out like this with no chain, but he's still spinning his hand. Um, any Southsiders out there that know why they do that, just explain it to me because I had never seen it prior to this. Anyway, so we go out there, right? We're sitting down. Everyone's kicking it. A uh, gang of Southsiders start coming. I tell my primo, right, the one we're hella cool, not the fucking big Rochero and not the fucking young one that I think fucking listens to Willow Smith. But I tell the other one, I say, hey, come here, let me, let me get it. What happened, bro? I thought you weren't going to call the homeboys. Look at our primo. That motherfucker's in there shaking like a wet leaf, right? That motherfucker's in the corner like, whopping, homes. Whopping. Right? Every fucking South Sider walks in, whopping. And they're looking at this ball and I go, look, let him know, bro, it ain't all about that shit, man. Because, you know, I got, hey, I can't let him just get fucked up in front of me, man. That's my, I love him, right? We love him. You, love, you know, you love him. That's it. I don't love him, right? I'm like, he's like, nah, nah, these are homies. They're cool. They're not tripping. They're from the barrio. Hey, what we say goes right here. Plus, they're not going to fuck shit off with my brother because, you know, my brother's that one. I said, all right, cool. And everything's good. And I ain't going to lie. My cousin pulls me to the side. Super North thing, right? Walk in. I need to get at you, primo. Fuck face. Come here, right? I'm like, what happened? Fuck, I'm already faded. I'm drinking beast on shit. Man, remember, he's not allowed to drink. I want to have a beer and shit. I said, but go around the fucking side, I'll, I'll fucking slide you one. Because like, they said, you can't have one. And plus, fucking, you know what I'm saying? Prim says, you can't have one, fool. He's like, gentlemen, have a beer and shit. You know what I'm saying? Look at Sheila. She's all there fucking with the Southsiders in the middle. Two Southsiders just drinking feast. I said, what the fuck is that bitch doing? She's trying to blend in. I was like, she looks like fucking a, a fat hamburguesa next to two skinny ass buns. Oh, man. You're going to let her play out of pocket like that? So she's drawing all the attention. Prim's yard and all we did. The, the whole time, they're bumping those two in the back. And that father's dad said, Vivo de tres animales. He's starting to wiggle like this. What are you doing? The well got, right? So he goes around the corner. I slide him a bear. He slams it ASAP. Alapagus, right? Comes back around the corner. Give me no one. Primo, right? I'm like, fuck it. So I'm sliding him beers. I'm drinking beer. We're all having a good time. And there's a couple of little young South Siders that come. They're probably 18, 19 years old. And they're staring at my primo because he's flamed up. Hey, you think he's playing? Red Charlie Brown, red Chuck Taylors, red Barney on the head, right? Hey. But my primo said, told me, hey, my cousin's from up north, but he's blood and shit. Don't trip, right? They had played the game. So one of the youngsters is like, hey, bro, you say, where are you from? The vato's like, norte. Hey, the vato's were like, what is it, right? Woo! Like three or four vato's jumped up. I'm like, da 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 da. I hit the way got him, right? No, I'm a DO, right? I slip down, right? I'm like, nah, nah, kick back. My primo jumps up the old school and he's like, hey, if there's going to be anything in his house, this kid's going to be a one-on-one, -on -one, right? So my primo ain't no punk. He said, well, fuck it. I'll, I'll take one-on-one, ain't it? Now he's fucking northerned out the game because they already know now. Well, what's happening, right? These vaults from Compton are like, fool, if you're going to see one of us, you're going to see all of us. And then my other primo jumps in. He's like, nah, nah, this is my family. You're not going to disrespect my family. So the way we're going to work is we're going to go in the front yard. He'll fight three of you vaults, whichever three you want. Man, the biggest little youngster, this motherfucker's chest bone was connected to his backbone. This shit went like that. Uh, Swole came out and he's like, I got it, that's it. Compton shit. I was like, <gasps> hey, Trey found him in the slums. Compton, uh. <laughs> I'm like, oh, shit. Fuck it, I'm going to slide to the front yard and watch this, right? They're like, hey, are you a North Indian too? I said, no, nah, see, I'm going to drop out. And the way that works is, right? A drop out? I said, no, but I, see, my politics are, I, I can explain it to you after I get you up. It's up to you, right? So, I don't get no issues. I don't get no problems. And meanwhile, Sheeta's in the back, probably in the middle of fucking getting a dude off, right? Because she never comes to the front yard. She just leaves her own man. And usually Sheeta will put in the work. It was all bad, right? My primo's in the front yard, and this is the exact reenactment. So my old school primo comes in. He's like, hey, okay, watch out. Watch out, man. Let me see what I got on it. Who wants to take a bed, eh? I'm going to put some money down on the little homie right here. Because uh, I don't know what it is. It's just something about the south side that got my mind going, eh? 
Crystal blue persuade. I'm like, oh shit, we're out. We're gonna get fucking killed around this motherfucker. They're compting out on us, right? So my primo's standing like the weapon. Weapon, come on, let's go. I don't fucking, I don't give There's no other thing, right? He's down. He's down. And I'd already told him, and I, I ain't gonna lie, I had me a little thing thing on me. And I told him, hey, if I notice anyone jumping, and I told my other cousin, hey, I got some on me, bro. If they start jumping, I'm gonna kill your own boys, bro. It's just the way it is. It's not a north or south thing, but it's a fucking protection of my sangre thing. You understand? He's like, nah, primo, don't trip. Ain't no one gonna jump, no one right here in my past. The last time they fucked up, but I dictated that, primo. Because he was acting all sloppy, plus I ain't gonna lie. He's already gave me a mamon the night before, phone, I think he found out. I'm like, oh shit, right? It gets stickier and trickier. So anyways, my primo's in the front yard whopping, right? He's throwing, whopping, right? He's ready to go, he's ready to throw the tiger uppercuts or the white guy uppercuts. Man, <clears throat> look, again, shout out to my primo Rick. He got major, major mitts, not major, major mitts. He got a few mitts. Sometimes, right? That was it. I don't know if that was the Sureño uppercut or to what degree of Compton that was, but you could tell that Vop was from the city. He was from Hub City because he didn't like, he, hey, my primo's face looked like he got hit with a hubcap in Hub City, right? His shit was all twisted in my primo. I don't know our son. This is how we die, right? I was like, oh shit, that fool fell back like that. Oh, Charlie Brown all dust in the back. I picked him up. The other dudes are like, let us get ours. And my primo jumped in the old school one. He's like, no, 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 see, see. It's over. Give my money. Give my money first. It's over. It's over. It's in. That's just the way it is. And, and hey, needless to say, I ain't going to lie. Them dudes left. And the whole night, I was nervous thinking, damn, are they going to come back and buck us here? And there was no more incidents. We all got along, right? Now, oh, it gets, it gets funnier. Trip out on this, right? This one I wasn't forgiven for a long time. So the whole time when we come in the backyard after the little fight, my primo's fucked up a little bit, but hey, but he held his, and I say, you held your own, don't trip, fool. You can't win them all. <laughs> you don't even back me up. I was there, fool, in, in spirit, like in body and language and everything, bro. <laughs> fool, this is too naughty, fool. Fuck these fools, right? It's true. Right, I'm like, kick back, kick back, shh, maybe, right? But perhaps, but just relax. So he sees only, who are you, fat bitch? Right, she was like, I was talking to your other primo because he, Oh, shit. You see that? I got something right here all over my ass. She's dusting her ass off. I'm like, oh, this bitch is too much. She ain't got no... It's pancake back there. But she's slapping it, right? I'm like, oh, this is no ditty, right? This is some ditty shit going on here. My primo gets mad. He starts to argue with this old lady. My older primo, no, 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 no. I see, uh, we don't beat women around here. We beat bottles up that act like women are up around here, right? So they're doing their thing. Hey, trip out on this. She gets mad and takes off walking in Compton. Now, I don't know what you would have done in this situation, but I'm gonna tell you exactly what I did in this situation. I let the bitch walk. First of all, she's not my old lady. I don't even like her. If she we lose her, whatever, right? Um, Everything's good to kid. See, I told my cousin, look, here's the plate right here. Let her walk. He's like, I'm gonna go get her. If you go get her, motherfucker, you're on your own, because I ain't cruising around Compton without everybody. Let her walk. We're gonna head this way. Your kids are at her mom's house, so you, everything works out, and the winner is. We left that bitch at Compton. Two days later, she pulls over to Paisa. You know what I mean? Stretch marks for reals, but she pulled up. I was like, we can't shift this bad bitch, right? And my girl, how was it? Was it fun? I said, your son got beat up again. Again? Fuck face, I'm gonna have to teach you how to fight. Hey, mijo, I need another favor. What? Can I borrow that 20 I gave you? Because that's how tricky it gets. Anyways, man, we cruised out to Compton. My cousin got beat up, but at the end of the day, man, he stood his ground. And I gotta respect him for that. So that's episode 11, man. I'm hitting you with episode 12 tomorrow, man. Be ready because it's going to get real tricky around these motherfuckers. Welga, my primo, the super north Daniel strikes again. Sheila, well, she was over there striking again. And that's just part of the game, man. It's tricky when you're fucking with the Mexican family, especially from North de Califas. Bang, bang. With that being said, off the Chamus move with a purpose. Get everything that you want coming. And remember, at the end of the day, it's all about the strive to struggle, the struggle to strive. I'm going to continue to do what I does right here. Collective clips, man. Make sure you guys are tapped in. If you ain't like to subscribe, this ain't shit. I got a whole lot more for you, man. The gun. Bang, bang.